been arrived. I guess I had to go to that place to get to this one. All right, one moment your life can be in perfect working order and in an instant it can change for the worse. And entrepreneur Ryan Blair has lived with ups and downs and knows how to stay positive and make things happen. He's going to talk a little bit about how he did it and how you can do it too. Ryan, thanks again for being with us. Your book is titled Nothing to Lose, Everything to Gain. What does that title mean to you? You know, it's a mindset. So it's a mindset that I had when I was on the streets and when I lived, you know, in boys' homes and I was in juvenile hall. And it, the essence is, is when you have nothing to lose, you either are backed into a corner or, and you cower and you submit uh, or you fight your way out. And so I've been backed into a corner a few times, both when I was a kid, but then also in my professional career when I decided to become an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. when the recession hit, you know, I had to apply that same mindset. Now, it's your mantra. Why do you think so many people don't live with that mindset today? I mean, there's a lot of fear out there there fear of the unknown too. yeah you know what fear is uh, it's a trap and people are domesticated so to speak so you know they're comfortable and uh, if they just realize that they have nothing to lose you know these middle-class folks that are you know they think they have something to lose they think that their reputation with their neighbors or their credit or their Louis Vuitton luggage mm -hmm. or whatever it is is worth uh, holding on to if they just ventured out there started a business took action they'd realize there's a better life let's talk about your story you write in the book it, it to start it off you pretty much say you didn't start at the bottom yeah but uh, <laughs> you it didn't take you long to get there tell yeah. me about your story well you know the, the bottom is something that a lot of people can uh, relate to right now and I hit it when my dad disappeared when I was 13 years old the first time uh, my mother was uh, an alcoholic uh, in fact she's on her deathbed now as a result of an injury related to her drinking issues uh, I never saw my dad again after I was 13 and my brothers and sisters all took the path of gang culture and so I followed suit when I was 13 years old so I, I knew what it was like to have nothing no family no parental support no society uh, nothing and uh, as a result of that mindset I was able to start a business with a lot of ambition and determination that other people just fail to see. Hmm. You, you even have, if I remember reading correctly, you even have a picture that you commissioned someone to paint of an AK-47 uh, in your house yeah. right now to remind you of what you used to carry on the yeah. streets. Yeah, well, you know, that's the whole nothing to lose brand, right? The idea is you have to remember where you came from. And now I'm in a position where, you know, I'm, I'm successful. My company did 231 million in sales last year and growing. Where did it turn around for you? Um, you know, it, mentorship is probably the number one thing that everyone needs, and that's why I wrote the book. You know, I wanted to be a virtual mentor to some people, but it turns around in, in the form of education. You know, the biggest inequality in America today is a lack of equal education. And yeah. so that's my mission is to teach people the subject of entrepreneurship. When, when you had nothing, what was the most important thing to you then? And now that you have pretty much everything you want, what's the most important thing it's to you It's the same now? thing. It's faith. It's, uh, you know, my faith that the story I've been through, the pain I've been through, and the reality that I've lived, uh, both good and bad, is for a purpose greater than myself. Now, there's a lot to talk about in this book. I would definitely suggest people go pick it up. You actually uh, talk about turning your life around. You bought, you, you had your first tech company yeah. at 21. Yeah. I mean, obviously, there were mentors in your life. What was the biggest influence, you think, that made you wake up and say, you know what, I can do better? Well, I was sitting down with John Wooden, the ex-UCLA famed uh, legendary coach, and he told me, Ryan, it's time to go pro. And uh, that was when I wrote the book. That was when I decided to uh, turn by Salas into a public company through a transaction with a group called Blythe. And, uh, and it was just basically said, Ryan, it's time for you to raise your game. And so that's been my mantra, go pro ever since. So that was probably the big turning point. Ryan, it's a great story. And uh, I, I don't want to let you go without yeah. you know, telling folks that you've never forgotten where you've come from. Uh, tell me about your charity work. You've got 90% of your profits, you say, that, that you're pledging to charity. No, so I'm I'm pledging 100% of the profits from the book, book to charity. Right. Uh, I work with Master P in a charity called Urban Born uh, that teaches entrepreneurship to the kids. Uh, but I'm pledging all my assets to charity when I go uh, because, you know, frankly, uh, the world has given me so much, I want to give back. Wow. Ryan Blair, we appreciate you uh, coming in. The book is called Nothing to Lose, Everything to Gain. Get it. You'll learn from it. Ryan, thanks again Thank for you. being here. We appreciate it. All right. We'll be back.